It's going away. It's going away. <laughs> okay. <laughs> dude, 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 dude. This isn't going to be a very hard decluttering with you around. Hello, Organized Soprano family. I'm so sorry for the noise in the background. We got washing machine going, so it's gonna be a little loud for a few minutes. We're on spin cycle right now. So today is day 18 of the 30 days of decluttering challenge, and today is gonna be a hard one for me. And that is because we are decluttering pet stuff, which means treats, toys, harnesses, leashes, all that stuff. Some stuff has gotta go. I know we're not using all of it. And in case you're new to my channel, hello, I'm Kay, the organized soprano, a singer and professional organizer here in the Boston area, and I'm here to inspire you to live a more organized life. And this little gentleman here is my Cavalier King Charles Spaniel. His name is Clover, and he is a very, 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 very good boy. But today we're gonna be giving some of his belongings away, and I'm traumatized, but it's gonna be okay. It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. All right, you guys, here is the scene of the crime. Well, first of all, he's got his little drawer, his little like everyday drawer. This stuff is fine. What's in this poop bag? Oh yeah, there's little booties in there. Cause I think it was like disgusting and muddy. So he's got these little busy dog boots. Ooh, these need to be washed. That's why they're in this bag. Oh, let's wash these. This stuff's just like the dog wipes and like an extra harness and the poopy poop bags. That's fine, we're gonna deal with that stuff later. The main concern though, is the sad drawer where all of his stuff is. It used to be organized at one point, but now is a little bit messy. So let's go through, and here he is. He knows, he knows that this is, this is a fun drawer. Let's go through and declutter some of this stuff. All right, let's start with your bulge, your bulge. I see a harness in here as well. Why, why? You gotta get out of the way so I can get the little thing out, okay? Okay, I know you're very interested in this little container, okay? But we gotta pick some balls to go. Okay, this one was just freshly destroyed this morning. <laughs> so I think this one definitely has to go. Sorry, buddy. This is a brand new package, so we're not gonna get into that. I know, he's really, if you're not familiar with Mr. Clover, he is very, 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 very into this ball collection. Like, serious. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of all the ones that are naked because they're, they're so disgusting when you bring them back because they get all nasty with them. Slobber and stuff, ew, ew, ew. Okay, no, you cannot have it. It's going away, it's going away. <laughs> okay, there's another naked one. Okay. <laughs> dude, 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 dude. Okay, let me put these up here so he can't. <laughs> this isn't gonna be a very hard decluttering with you around. Okay, I'm gonna put them there. Oh, this was something that was made for him, for his, um, his leash, his like uh, collar, but I haven't put it on yet, so I will, I'll, I'll keep this. I should move the camera because it's like not, it's, it's not a good, not good. By the way, look at the cute top I'm wearing. Look at the cute top. It's from Anthropology, but it's really old. But look at what's on the top, all over. You have to look really closely. It's raccoons. Oh my God, how cute. Because raccoons aren't cute, right? They're like kind of scary. But on this top, they're adorable, oh my god. Okay, we got a different angle now. Why I chose to declutter with Buddy around is like, totally crazy. Hey, hey, no, no. Can you get that ball? Get that ball. There we go. I think. Oh, there's another, another naked ball. Look at this one. Like, ew, ew. Um, his toothbrush is in here, which is totally wrong. And these, he hasn't chewed in a while. I was gonna just throw these away, because they're kind of gross. But the toothbrushes, I'm gonna clean up and put back in his grooming kit. So we're gonna, we're gonna throw these away. These are like old Nyla bones, but I, I don't think he's too interested in these, so I'm just gonna throw them away. Okay, we're gonna add that to the collection, and we're gonna, okay, no, 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 you can't have access to this all the time. He's really, he's obsessed with balls, so we need to like really be careful about how much access he has to these, so. Cause he'll stop, he'll start playing and he won't stop. It's like kind of insane. All right, we're gonna put this one away, buddy, and we're gonna throw these balls away, so. Sad times. Where did all that dirt come from? Oh no. Okay, instead of adding more light to the situation like a professional, we're just gonna turn up the ISO. <laughs> okay, so these are two Frisbees, one is like this clean new Frisbee and one is like 
the dirty used Frisbee, so we'll keep that in its little container. But we'll put the Frisbee back because he likes that. And he's been learning to catch the Frisbee. He's not very good at it yet, but he's still learning. So we're gonna teach, continue to teach him the Frisbee. Um, what's in the front here? Okay, we got the same thing for the WAG, so we'll hold on to that. WAG is um, a dog walking service that we use sometimes. So I actually know a WAG walker personally. Um, so I like the service a lot. So if you guys haven't heard of it, it's a, it's a dog walking service. They're really awesome. This is not sponsored. I wish it was, I really do. Um, but we like them a lot, so we'll keep that in there. This is a treat holder, which I use sometimes when we're doing training walks, so that's fine, can go in there. This is his little raincoat, it looks really cute on. I'll put a picture on the screen right now of him wearing this raincoat. He's really unhappy, but it's so cute on. Um, so we're keeping that. Okay, so we've got his little grooming thing up here. I know I'm going from place to place, but. Um, you know what, I actually don't really use this shampoo anymore, so I'm gonna get rid of it. And I don't use this water bottle anymore, so it's gonna go, we're gonna get rid of that one too. Cause it leaks and it's very annoying. I do use the anti-itching spray. Oh my God, here's another one. Wait. <laughs> Was this one supposed to be for clover or this one? I think they're both supposed to be for clover. They're like decorative color decorations. So I think when he gets, um, I think I'll get him a different color and he can wear this on like special occasions to be like holidays and stuff. So these are little toothbrushes. I'm gonna put these back in here. Anything I don't use in here? No, I use everything. There's toothpaste, little doggy toothpaste. So this stuff is all set. Uh, is there anything I need to put in here that's grooming wise? Cause I want all the grooming stuff to be there. These are like little travel bowls that we use for him. We love these, they're never going anywhere. So we use them a lot. So we're gonna keep those in here. This is his little drying towel. This is his cooling coat, which I should use more often actually. If your dogs get overheated, a lot. Um, you what? You can buy something called a cooling coat or a cooling harness. I actually want to buy a cooling harness so I can put a um, so I can put a leash on it. But it's a cooling coat, so he puts it on when he exercises in the hot, hot weather. And you wet it with some water, and basically through the power of evaporation, it keeps him nice and cool. So it's awesome because when I touched it, it was like, oh, it's, that's really cool. So. It's cool and cool because dogs can't sweat and cool themselves off. They just do the, the tongue thing, the panting thing. So cooling coat, really helpful for super hot days when he wants to go outside and play. So I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna put that in, maybe this can be his like gear, gear container here. So this is his old harness. You know what, it's worn out and gross and it's like tearing at some spots. So look at it. Look at how sad that is. So I ordered, he is wearing a new, a new one right now. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna part with this one even though it's, he's been wearing it for a while. It's, it's the memories, but you know, the, he, he doesn't really care. So <laughs> let's just let it go. And the rest of this stuff is just stuff he wears on occasion. It's like really dumb. It's like his birthday hat. Actually his birthday's coming up next month. So I'm excited. So he's got his birthday shirt in here and his little leg warmers that he wears in winter sometimes. So, and his little, <laughs> a little winter hat that we put on him sometimes. So it's really dumb, that we're, but we're keeping those things. And this is the filter for the water thing. I don't use that that often, but I'm gonna put it in here um, so it's in a place where I know where it is. And let's put in the booties. Okay, not ideal, but not bad either. <laughs> so this guy lives up top here. You can just grab and go kind of container and let's put the travel things in the back here since we don't travel a lot. I'm gonna keep this leash. This is like his old thick leash. We have a, a thinner one now that's the same as his, as his harness as you can see. See it matches his harness. It's from um, a company called RC Pets and we really like to use their harnesses and leashes. So, And he's got a collar that matches as well. So we're just gonna stick this back there. Um, so, because sometimes I wash the leash and I need another leash to use in the meantime, so we're gonna keep that guy. He knows that this is his drawer, so he's like really interested in what I'm doing here. Put the pot thing there, put your dress ups. Okay, you're on your towel, in your towel, towel. Okay, wow, that is a lot neater than it was before. I'm shocked. Come on. Okay, so here we have the new organized dog stuff drawer. We have decluttered some stuff. We got rid of some old balls, although this one has to go. 
How did I miss that one? Okay, so we've got all like fresh intact balls and weather stuff, dress up stuff, his toys, little outdoor action with the, the raincoat there. And um, I'm happy with the amount of stuff here. And there's the other um, bin that's up there. It's sort of just, I don't know why I'm happy with it up there. It just, I'm just used to it. So it's up there along with the ball thrower. <laughs> So I am very happy with Clover's organized and decluttered drawer. Okay, and this stuff we're getting rid of, although he doesn't seem too interested in getting rid of the ball. He's taken the ball. Clover, I need the, <laughs> we're gonna get rid of that ball, buddy. Really? Okay, here we go. Sorry, Clover. Sorry. Okay, next thing is the toys. I don't know if any of these are going, but he's got lots of toys. Oh my goodness. Okay, this really shouldn't be this hard, but it is. I think I have a, I, I have an emotional attachment to his toys as much as he does not, probably. So um, I'm, I'm gonna be selective. I'm gonna get rid of at least one, I think. Um, but he definitely, he's got so many toys. So you guys can't see it, but there's a basket here on the right. Um, and he's just got all these little plush toys that he loves. So I'm gonna go through and see he loves that one. I mean, he loves all of them, right? He really does. Oh, here's another ball. Mm. Okay, I need to get rid of that. Okay, Mr. Pineapple Man is in good shape. Uh, Christmas Mushroom taking a little bit of abuse, right? Like, he looks a little bit rough, but I think he can go a few more weeks before we have to throw him away, but he, this is one of Clover's favorites. Oh my god, this is his favorite. He loves the freaking platypus. It was given to him by um, some friends last year for his birthday and he is obsessed with this and loves it a lot. It's one of those like no uh, filler toys, which I like. You know what he doesn't play with is this. So this is at least the one at least that I'm gonna get rid of. So he doesn't play with this, so I'm gonna get rid of it. He loves this, he loves the flat toys. So he loves his little chipmunk. He loves the pizza. He loves, he loves this too, his dad gave it to him. <laughs> Kind of annoying. <laughs> uh, but there's a ball in here, and there's another ball in here. I should put these in the ball place because it's, if it's too many balls out, he's like crazy. Um, the strawberry he loves. The puppy pop is one of his favorites. It was given to him by his babysitter. <laughs> and he loves he loves his skunk, and he loves the wubba. But and in, all these toys are in pretty good shape right now. I say probably the first one that has to go is the probably the mushroom. So, but we'll give it a few more weeks and, you know, I look, cause it's coming apart a little bit, you know, but I mean, he does, he can afford to let go of like at least one toy. So uh, we'll save the mushroom for now, but oh my God, another, another ball. And <laughs> this is a toy he actually like stole from a friend. He loves this little pig. He took both of the ears off, I think, and ate them. So, but he loves this guy. And you know, he loves this giraffe. I showed this back up in another video. He's like, he even though he doesn't have a squeaker anymore, he, he's like, is in love with this thing. So I'm gonna put the, and this is the weirdest toy in I've ever seen. This is like a little like Christmas elephant thing. He picked this out at the pet store. I'm gonna insert a, a photo of him with this. He picked this out and it was bigger than him at the time. And he, he still loves this thing. He still brings this to me all the time. I thought it didn't have feet, but it actually does have feet. It's just really weird. I think it's a really weird like pet toy. like. Why, why, but he loves it. Oh, of course the avocado, he's like a big fan of. So we're gonna keep that guy. And of course the cow, he loves that. Um, the rest of the stuff I'm gonna put away. And uh, we're not getting rid of very many toys. Just, just, just this guy. So as you can see, his toy collection has not gotten much smaller. He's got a little like bin full of toys, which you can see here, but you know what? I mean, hey, he's loved, he's spoiled. He's got a good life. He's got his little lion, which he loves. He's got all of his favorite toys. The, the most fun toys that we've gotten have come from Target. <laughs> so a lot of these are Target toys, but um, that's his little like bed and toy station. He loves to sleep here. And then he brings his toys from this bucket all the time. Okay, I feel like this video has gone on an exceptionally long time. So I'm gonna get to editing and uh, go to my appointment I have at two o'clock. <laughs> and I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you liked it, give it a big thumbs up. And let me know if you decluttered any of your pet's toys today, or your pet's things. Um, if you like videos like this, please subscribe. I publish three times a week, although in August I'm publishing every day for Vlogist. I love you and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.